Hello RCC Tigers, I'm Kyla O'Connor, Dean of Enrollment Services, and I'm joined today by Dr. Farida Carter, Vice President of Student Services. Rather than doing a lengthy in-person rehearsal for commencement, we are pleased to present this video rehearsal. Please watch this video in its entirety and keep in mind that the most up-to-date, ceremony-specific information is available on the RCC website. If you have any questions, please call the graduation hotline at 951-222 Eight, two, three, three. Congratulations, you've made it. After many late night study sessions, exams, and well thought out papers, you've completed what you set out to do, graduation. Commencement is an academic tradition where you will be publicly recognized for your academic accomplishments. This is a formal event, as I mentioned, and it involves a lot of walking. Anyone who's uncomfortable wearing heels, please be forewarned. There are numerous steps to the field. If you're not comfortable walking in heels, don't make commencement the time you try to learn how to do it. You want this event to be remembered by your family and your friends as a festive and special event, not one where you had to be rushed to the ER after you fell off the stage in your five inch stiletto. Please remember that only regalia purchased at the RCC bookstore will be approved for your participation in commencement. The regalia package includes a black gown and mortarboard cap. The package for degree recipients also includes a hood and a tassel. No one will be allowed on the field unless they have on their entire regalia. And remember, your gowns must be zipped up. Graduation can be very windy, so we recommend using bobby pins to secure your cap to your hair. Be dignified. Nothing can be placed on your caps or your gowns that have not been approved. Your honor society ropes and your programmatic sashes have already been pre-approved. Anyone not complying with the dress code may be asked to leave the field. Remember that participation in graduation is a privilege and not a right. Do not report to check-in under the influence of anything other than joy. That means do not come inebriated or under the influence of drugs. Here's some general event details. Please plan on arriving two hours before ceremony start time to check in and to get into proper formation before taking the field. Upon check-in, you will be given a name card which will be read when you cross the stage. You will want to make sure everything on the card is correct and spell your name phonetically if it's hard to pronounce. Please leave purses, flowers, backpacks, or any other bulky items with your guests. No children or any other person will be allowed to accompany you onto the field. If you will require an escort or assistant due to mobility issues, please contact the DRC at 951-222-8508. No air horns, confetti, silly string, balloons, or beach balls are allowed on the fields or in the stands. If you have an emergency and must leave the field, please check with a staff member before leaving. If you leave the ceremony, you will not be permitted to return. Here's some information for your guests. We have rented jumbotrons that will be displaying the entire event. So no matter where your guest chooses to sit, they will be able to see you. They are free to take photos from their seats, but be reminded that they are not allowed to approach the stage, the field, or the track. We have hired professional photographers and they will be on hand to capture the event. At the commencement ends, you're able to take as many photos as your heart desires. To ensure the enjoyment of all guests, no balloons, umbrellas, or other distracting items are permitted in the seating areas. Smoking nor vaping is permitted in the stands or on the commencement field. Guests should check the RCC website for the most up-to-date, ceremony-specific information, including seating times. There is an area of seating located on the field behind the graduates. Guests seated in this area are not allowed to bring food onto the field. However, they are encouraged to bring bottled water. Guests are not allowed onto the grass area where the graduates are seated at any time. The ceremony will last approximately two hours. Guests who arrive early should plan on bringing snacks, water, and medication if needed. 
Participating in the ceremony does not guarantee that you will receive your certificate or your diploma. You must complete the requirements for your academic program. After the final grades have been posted, you will receive an email from the evaluations office that tells you if you've met all the necessary academic requirements. Expect to receive this email by the end of July and your diploma and or certificates will be mailed to you by October. If you're receiving more than one degree or certificate, please go to admissions and records the week after commencement in order to pick up your additional diploma cover. Now for the commencement ceremony details. After you check in, you will be seated with your academic area. During the procession into the stadium, you will be walking with this group and you will also be seated during the ceremony with this group. If you have mobility issues or require extra assistance, please contact the DRC for specific information about check-in and accommodations. If you show up late, you must check in with an usher at the gate. You may not be seated if doing so will disrupt the ceremony. Turn off all cell phones or place them on vibrate. You will need to walk on the field two by two, which means stay with the person across from you. It looks great and it also ensures a smooth procession. We need to keep the lines moving during the processional. Please pay attention to your group. If it moves, move with the group. Do not stop during the processional for any reason. Now is not the time for selfies. That's an example of what I mean. Now is not the time. When the marching band begins playing Pomp and Circumstances, you will walk onto the field and be seated. Just stay close to the person in front of you and the ushers will take care of the rest. Make sure that you fill in each seat in your row and do not leave gaps in seating. Move toward the end of the row as quickly as possible. Remain standing throughout the processional, the flag salute, and the national anthem. Men, you will be asked to remove your hat during the flag salute, the national anthem, and the alma mater. When the national anthem is complete, you all may be seated. There will be a printed program at your seat so that you are able to follow along with the ceremony. After the speakers are complete, it will be time to present degrees and certificates. Ushers will tell you when it's your row's turn to go up to the stage. Make sure you take your name card with you as this goes to the card reader. Professional photographers will take your picture before you go onto the stage and as you receive your diploma cover. Please follow the direction of the ushers who will tell you where to line up for the photo. After your photo is taken, you will go onto the stage, shake the hand of the dignitary, and collect your diploma cover. You will then walk down the stage and you will return to your seat. Walk down the center ramp and return to your seat. Don't wait for the whole row to return to your seat. After everyone has gone across the stage, the college president will confer degrees by asking you to stand. They will instruct you to move your tassel from left to right. Remain standing during the alma mater song. Then it will be time for the recessional, or leaving the ceremony. Faculty and administration will leave first, then students. Please wait for the usher to dismiss your row. Go out the gate at the end of the field. Don't break rank until you have exited the field. Prearrange with family and guests of where to meet you. The practice field is a recommended spot for meeting up. Several photo op stations will be available in the practice field. And that's it. I'm so excited for you. If you have any questions, please call the graduation hotline at 951-222-8233 or stop by Admissions and Records. We look forward to celebrating your academic accomplishments with your family and your friends at the upcoming RCC commencement. Take care of yourself and have a tiger-rific day.